Sports Performance, EXSP.biz. Joe Cleasy from PASwag.com. And we're here with the program recruiting uh, aspect here, recruiting uh, spotlight here. And the first guy we have up is uh, Drew Scales. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we talked about him in, in our first week of the program. Um, Central Dolphin, kid a multifaceted player. He can definitely get the job done. Um, week one, heck, uh, open up the scoring for the season, 80 yards. Mm -hmm. uh, and Central Dolphin really didn't have a great game, in my opinion. They had three big plays that they scored on and beat Manheim Township. Um, he's definitely a guy you got to look out for, week in and week out. I mean, I know everybody talks about Zade. This is the key to their uh, success. Uh, week two, we all know about the suspension against McDevitt. Mm -hmm. um, they get the play. Comes back next week and, let's, let's be honest, uh, blowout. Doesn't get as much reps and much carries and stuff like that because of how bad the score was. But this kid's a legit kid. No doubt. He's a, he's a, he's a big time. He's a big playmaker. Yeah. And he, he's, a, he's a great I mean, he's a great all-around talent. Mm -hmm. um, on the defensive side of the ball, he's definitely a great, a good cornerback. But on the offensive side of the ball, he's phenomenal. Pound yeah. for pound, one of the best players mm -hmm. in the state. Um, as you said, he's a, he's definitely uh, he's a, he can change momentum yep. in the game real fast. I think he had a return touchdown. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. He had a return touchdown last week. And again, it was a blowout, but you could tell that CDs are different. Right. They're a different team with both him and Zay. There, there's no question. In the game. Yeah. Um, went off his side of the ball. He got so much to worry about. Yep. Um, yeah, I was talking to one of their coaches, and they ran a play against McDevitt early on. And uh, Bowman filled in for him during the suspension game there. And Bowman got to the corner and stuff, but got dragged down after about a 30-yard game. And the coach was telling me that scales it's mm -hmm. to the house. He's taking it. He's, you know, he's busting outside and he's gone. He doesn't get caught. And that's what happens. You know what I mean? The kid has another gear. When he gets going, he takes off. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't. Um, you know, you're just not going to catch him unless you have somebody with the same speed takes the perfect angle. He's not getting caught. Not at all. And uh, you know, just from the recruiting aspect, I think you know we talked about it before. Mm -hmm. As of right now, he's a little bit under the radar, but I just find it hard to believe if he, if he uh, continues to come up with the big play, at the big play, at the big play, at some point you're going to take a chance at him. Somebody's going to take a chance on him. He's about 5'8". There's plenty of 5'8 college yeah. players uh, in the return game, uh, maybe a slot receiver, you know, something like that. He definitely can uh, make a difference. Yeah, and I think one of the things he really needs to focus on when the season's over, he really needs to put on some weight. Uh, I'm not saying he's the skinny kid by any stretch of the imagination, but you look at some of those 5'8 guys, those guys are pushing 200 pounds and not over. Mm -hmm. They could still run at the same speed. So if he can really work on put on some size this offseason mm -hmm. and keeps that speed or gets even more explosive, that kid's going to be dynamite. That kid's going to you know, have a very good shot at definitely picking up that Division One. I, I know, um, letter somewhere, you know, scholarship somewhere. What's that about? 